So good evening, dear. Welcome to Loda Tech Four Challenge. Okay, so today our topic is optimization, right? So last class, uh, you, uh we have shown you, uh, saw that uh, like how to open the open window, right? And then how to uh, use the predefined models, right? So what are all the predefined models are there? We have seen everything, right? So this class, we're going to discuss about the model optimization, right? So what is model optimization? And what we're going to learn in this whole session? So here, uh, you can share, uh, see the screen, right? Yes. Okay. Thank you. So what is model optimization? So in this model, we're going to see what is model optimization and what is important. Okay. And what are the intermediate representation files to reach the model optimization? What are all the files you needed? That we call it as intermediate representation IR. Okay. So what are it, uh, two features? What all the features are there in this intermediate representation files? And how to create this file from the predefined models of a different libraries? And how to perform live in inferencing with the help of the IR file in OpenVINO framework? Okay. So these are all the things we're going to discuss today. So first one, importance of model optimization. Why it is so important, okay? So let us understand what is optimization first, okay? So what is optimization basically? Anybody, can you give me your answers? What is optimization? I want your answers because uh, we have very less time. I want to complete so please give your answers. I want to take it more interactive also and I have to complete also. Yes, to make something more efficiency. Okay, and then what else? What are the other most out of something? Yes, to get most out of something. Yes, okay. So from various things when we are giving, okay, from that, what are all the best? What are all the things we can extract as a whole? Okay, that we call it as optimization. The things will be accurate and also it is it should be more useful than the original, correct? So here, uh, example of optimization to just give you a clear, clear idea of what is optimization. So that is Sam. Can you please check my ears? I'm unable to hear properly. Okay, so the doctor will be going to check and he'll be describing the optimized dose, okay? So what are all the dose prescribed medicines, tablets, syrups, eardrops, everything, okay? So the, if you use this doses, your ears will be getting cured from the infection, right? So optimized dose means what? As much you need it just to cure it, right? So another example I'll give you. So here the optimized dose means what? The limit is based on the infection, right? So maximum efficiency with minimum dose can be defined as optimization, okay? So the another example, so see here, All right? But when you see this, right? After and uh, before optimization, the flower, how it's blooming, it is before optimization and after optimization is looks same only, correct? Yes, but when you observe it, there is no much difference between the GIF image blow, you know, blooming before and after the optimization, right? But in this example, we can observe that the frame size reduces to 15 to 30, okay? From 30 to 15, the frame size has been reduced. Clear? So the optimizing GIF has many benefits such as Less memory, computer memory, and loads much faster in the browser. So that is the basic idea or basic need of this optimization. Okay, so it can take very less memory and faster loading in the browser. 
So what is the use of the optimization? Fast processing and less memory usage. Right? Clear? So this is the optimization. So what is model optimization? Right? What is model optimization in Open Vino? Yeah. So here you can see this cafe, right? Uh, PyTorch and transfer flow and MXNet, Cal Cal Caldi, Onyx. So these are all the defined free trained models, the deep learning methods. Okay. Using one of these methods or any of these methods, we can, you know, uh, do this optimization. Okay. So that is the thing. So using this any of the model, the model optimization, it will create the IR files. We have seen that what we're going to do discuss today, right? IR file. All right. So this is the IR file. So in this file, there will be XML and bin. Okay. Two files we're going to create. Okay. So that we call it as model optimization. So using model optimization, we can create IR files, XML and bin. Okay, these are all the inputs. We're going to use it using this pre-trained, I mean pre-trained models, cafe and PyTorch and Onyx, all this. Okay, so it is the process of pre-trained models to of different frameworks with the eye precision often generates the IR files of XML and bin files. Okay, so XML and bin files of these two files using these two files only, they're going to create the IR files. Clear? Mm -hmm. I can see so. Please send Jupyter file with all the codes. Sure, dear. We'll be after completing today. Uh, you'll be going to get a project. I mean, you're going to create a project. So before that, we'll try to send you through the mail all the Jupyter files. Okay. The next one is. What is model optimization? optimizer in open window so you can see this there are so many predefined models right so xml files bin files so many files correct so all these files we're going to use it in the transfer uh, tensor flow or cafe any of this any of the one predefined model pre-trained model we can use it okay so there are so many pre-trained models are there. You just need to download this bin file and XML file. Okay. And we conclude that, uh, you know, after optimization, IR files from the pre-defined model size of the file has been reduced. So this is how. So whatever the file you have taken, that file size has been reduced after your optimization. Okay. That is the main use of it. Clear? What is the use of it? Okay, so see here the example 4,957 uh, KB is there. So when you just uh, taken into the another one, so 294, so here 193. So see 10,000 to 4,000 has been reduced, 200 to 100 it has been reduced. Correct? So both the files like pb files bin files xml files whatever the files you will be taking it will reduce the size okay using the optimization so that is the model optimization so the model size is reduced 50 percentage by converting into ir files right so let us collect the open we know toolkit so first we're going to take the model zoo the model zoo is nothing but a pre deep learning models so all the models have been saved over there okay so the next one is model optimizer. Ma'am, does it affect the quality of the files by converting it? Yes, that is what optimization, right? What is mean by optimization? The quality will not reduce and the usage and the size also will not reduce. That is the purpose of optimization, right? Clear? And the next one is uh, model zoo. So here the more from this we are going to apply the model optimizer and that optimizer what we're going to do we are going after model optimizer we are going to reduce the size of the XML and bin files 
then using any user application the interference engine will be going to show you the image okay this is how we, the open window will work so first what are all the predefined models are there where it is using the tensor flow pi tar, pi torch you know cafe on x memex net so these are all the models you deep learning models these are all the deep learning models any of the one model we can use right so open window provides a set of intels or public predefined models with different frameworks that can be used for learning and demo purposes okay so if you go inside the uh, browser also you can see that intels public okay right so if if you randomly type like uh, open we know models okay so you can get to into this intel and public models okay i'll show you later so here the next one is see pre trained models in open we know git app if you click it see here model zoo if you click on the models intel public right so if you click the public then you can see the models over here yes efficient dot it so here you can see this tensor flow okay this model was tensor flow and the metric coco image okay that is coco is the image Clear with this? How to go to see the models open, we know, like model zoo. So here are the files, right? And you already know how to run this. The last class we have shown you this, right? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Okay. So the next one, here are the example of two uh, cafe to pre train models. So in this, like uh, you can go to the model public again. So AlexNet, okay. So this AlexNet is the another predefined cafe model that is overflow. The last one we have seen is overflow, uh, TensorFlow. This is cafe two. Okay, so this is the another model. Clear? So there are so many models you can use whichever the model you want. Okay, so implementation is based on the cafe. So the model name and uh, OMSI model name, all this will be specified over here. Okay. So predefined model framework supported in Open you know, Cafe. The first one is. Tensor flow, right? See, tensor cafe, tensor flow, uh, efficient net is a tensor flow, then PyTouch. PyTouch is an anti spoof, right? So these are all the three examples we are taking. So what does Moin by model optimization and how it is working? You already know you're going to take the deep learning models from the model zoo. You're going to take any deep learning models that files been file and uh, XML files. So you're just giving it as an input into the model optimizer. What it will do, it will analyze, one times, optimize and convert it to a small size. Okay. So the output will be IR files. So whatever after the model optimization, whatever the files, XML file, bin file, we call it as IR, 
files intermediate representation because after the model optimization the output we call it as intermediate representation that is ir file so what are all the files will be there in that xml file and bin files okay so the size will be reduced the quality also has been improved clear so analyze what it's going to do see in this steps like in this optimizer what are all the things it's going to do we have seen analyzing quantize optimize topology convert so what is this so first analyze is the understanding the predefined model understanding it okay whatever the images or whatever the files we are just uh, trying to upload it as an input it's going to understand first and then it's going to enhance the speed okay the enhance the speed then reducing the model size and parameters and layers okay so it's going to reduce the size and parameter layers and then convert a representation and intermediate representation so finally the output is going to give us a ir model i mean ir files right then model optimization so first thing is what are all the things quantization freezing fusion these three process we going to come across when you doing a model optimization what is mean by quantization so reducing the model precision without much loss of accuracy okay so we are just giving a precise one okay that is called reducing the model precision okay so that without losing your accuracy you are just going to precise it that we call it as quantization then freezing what is mean by freezing the process of removing operation and metadata that are only needed for training okay so when we reading or when we developing it we don't need a few you know uh, things right few datas those data we can remove it when we are optimizing okay so the data which is needed for training we can delete it while doing a optimization that we call it as freezing which means we are going to freeze the, those datas okay for the training period the next one is fusion combining different layers together into one single layer is called as fusion okay even when you a models when you try to uh, specify whether it is a dog or whether it is a cat what we'll do we'll be sending those images into different layers right so when you try to combine those two layers into one single layer that call it as fusion right the next one is what is quantization so quantization as i already told you is going to precise right so see here floating point integer so now it's been changed into 32 bit 8 bit right so see here in this picture please here fp32 and here the, these are all the neurons okay all these blue colors we call it as neurons right so in input hidden layers how many hidden layers are there one two three correct three layers are there then when you coming into when coming into output there are only two neurons right so lots of layers in the deep learning right so this quantization uh, reduction in memory so it has been reduced into memory the memory has been reduced by coming into the different layers right <coughs> clear I think if you people are unmute and uh, have a conversation, interaction, it will be fine, I think. I don't know whether your people are here or somewhere, like physically here, mentally absent, I don't know. Because you people are not even sending any text, you know. You can have chat. You can't unmute once again. allowed you people unmute yourself dear can you try now can you unmute now it's clear ma'am yes okay thank you dear. 
Okay, the next one is, so here the quantization first is reducing the size. That is called uh, quantization, right? The next one is freezing. So here, what is mean by freezing we have seen? We can see the neurons with different values between the layers, right? So the values may be different, okay, between the neurons. How many neurons are there? One, two, three, four, five. Each layer, five, five neurons are there. Correct? Yes. So, what is mean by freezing, dear? Freezing Removing is extra the data, operations right? That yes. is no longer required. Yes. So, here, whatever the extra data are there, it's going to remove. And then, finally, it's going to give you output. Okay? That is called as freezing. So, here, see... Two, uh, three data we inputs we have given, but finally it's keeping only two inputs, right? So this is how the pre freezing is works. The next one is, see here, uh, we are freezing the last two layers of the network with the same values and leaving the remaining layers for the modification, right? So whatever the same values, 0 0.2, 0 0.2 and 0 0.7, so all the same layers, we're going to keep it because these two layers and these two layers, like for example, these two and these two are same, right? So that these two layers, any one of these two layer alone, we are just keeping it, remaining, we just uh, freezing it so that uh, we can use it for the testing period, okay? Right? So we are just taking a small amount of data, not a duplicate data, okay? So that remaining layers for the modification. That is what? Freezing. In this figure, fusion is happening. What is mean by fusion? Whatever the data we just freeze, no? Those data we are just making into one layer. We already saw fusion means merging two layers into one layer. So here the freeze date, uh, data, we are going to freeze layers. We are going to merge it into one layer. So 5 plus 2, 7, right? Like this, we are just going to merge it so that uh, merge data into one single layer is called as fusion. So we have done freezing, fusion, and one more, what we have done? Quantization, right? So three steps has to be done in the optimization. The next one output will be coming into the given model. It is represented into the IR, okay? So after these it will produce the intermediate representation as an output, okay? And this intermediate representation will contains the XML and bin. So what the XML will be containing? The architecture and metadata. What is mean by architecture? How it is connected, correct? That is what we call it as architecture, correct, dear? So this XML contains the architecture and metadata. So, how it is connected, all this we call it as topology. Do you remember? Trees topology, bus topology in the network we used to learn. So, topology means how it is connected, the structure, correct? So, the structure is basically architecture. So, the XML will be having a model of architecture and metadata. And bin contains the weights and biases, okay? So, how much weight is there, like data, integer, values, all these will be com uh, coming in inside this bin file, okay? The next one is knowledge check. What is the correct way on representing open, we know? Your answers, please. The second option. Okay. Others? The second option. Okay. Right, the next question is, how many hidden layers are presented in this network? Three. Yes. Good, correct. Okay, the next one, if you want to keep these two layers fixed and other layers unchanged in the hidden layers, this is called as? Freezing. Okay. Clear. So, the next one is intermediate representation files, IR files, the output, okay, how it's going to come. What is IR? First understand that. So, uh, from the model, you know, pre-trained models, we're going to uh, train or do the optimization using this pre-trained models. Then we'll be getting a IR files, correct? 
So that IR file having a two things like um, XML file and bin file, which is structure, right? So intermediate representation is the data structure or code used internally by a compiler or visual machine to represent the source code. Okay. So to represent the source code, it is just a structure used by the compiler. That is, we call it as IR files. So the intermediate representation, <coughs> if you see here, the XML files contains details of this four layers with five neutrons, each that is 20 neurons topology. Correct? So all these five, you know, five, each layer having five, five uh, blue color dot is, we call it as neurons, right? So five, five neurons, how it is connected, the structure, so totally 20 neurons, how it is connected, the structure has been stored in the XML file. Simply we can say that shape of the layers. Okay. Right. So the shape of the layer is in the XML. So what does mean by XML? Extensible markup language is a markup language and file format for storing, transmitting and reconstructing arbitrary data. Right. So here you can see this example, input layer, shape and details. So a uh, shape, element type, F32. So all these details will be given in this file. So when you open this XML by file, you will come to know all the details of those uh, neurons. Okay, structure and everything. So the markup language is the language that consists of easy to understand keywords, names, tags, you know, all this. Same like XML, I mean, sorry, HTML only. Right? Similar to HTML. Clear? The next one is uh, immediate, uh, you know, bin file. Right? So, what is bin file? It's a binary file that are used for var varied purposes by many computer applications. Okay? So, it is a binary file. So, all the data, okay, which is stored in this binary form, the weight and biases. Okay? Clear? The next one is knowledge. So what is extensible markup language? XML. Okay. After model optimizing, the topology of neural network is stored in which IR file? Dot .xml. Okay. Next one is creation of IR files. Okay. How to create the IR files? So let us apply Open Minnow Toolkit to create our IR files using TensorFlow framework. First, we're going to see about TensorFlow. So stepwise procedure, what are all the, there are three steps first. Defining a framework, then initiates, uh, you know, initializing the model optimization and then model referencing. Okay, these are all the three steps we have to follow. Right. So first one, we have to define a framework. So what framework you are going to define, you have to select the model, right? Basically, predefined model. So you can take any predefined model and then you are just going to initialize the model optimization, then initiating the model optimization, initiating the model optimization, having analyzing, quantize, optimize and convert, right? So these things it's going to do. And then finally, you're going to get the model referencing using that. You will be getting the IR files, right? So first, how to get it? First step, framework with model, right? So you have to go to the model name, MobileNet V3 Large. Okay. So TensorFlow is a free open source library for machine learning and artificial intelligence, right? So it's useful for training and in you know interferencing the deep neural network. So first one mobile inter uh, mobile net v3 we have to take that is the framework we have to choose. Then mobile internet reminds one of the most advanced architectures in mobile computer vision. Mobile net v3 is the third version of architecture used in the image analysis for mobile applications. So it's going to mobile net v3. V3 means, you know, vision, right? So it's for the computer vision only we're going to use. Okay. And then importing necessary libraries. What are all the libraries you needed? You need to import it. And then setting the file path. So wherever the model v3 small, 
you know, this file wherever you opened. Okay. That file path you have to give it. Okay. And then XML path also you have to create. Okay. For IR files. Then defining a model optimization. Optimizer. What is it? F input model, model path and shape, value, scale value, data type, output direction, everything. Okay. So here. So this is the initializing the model of attributes with uh, input images, right? So whatever the image you're going to give about that image, whatever the uh, details you, you're going to give as a attributes over here. Okay. Then visit the below link. Like I'll give you this link also. I'll just add it in the chat box. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay, so this you can see the details of it like mobile net, other things also, whatever we're going to see after this. Okay, the next one is. Checking the IR files. So if not IR path exists, the path which we have given, if it does not exist, exporting transport, this may take few minutes. Else print IR model, it's already exist. Okay. Right. So the output will come like IR model V3 small is already exist. Right. The next one is checking the IR models. Then see checking the IR files. You can see that the files has been updated. Okay. So small, the bin file, it has been updated. The size also would have been reduced. Okay. Same way. Uh, then later we have to uh, initialize the interface engine, the third step. So IE interface engine, IE is equal to four. Model is equal to IE dot read model. Model IR path, wait and suffix bin, you know, bin file. And compiled model, again, CPU. Device name is equal to CPU. So getting information about the model, you can just try this. Okay, input key, output key, network, input shapes, everything. So using this, you can get the information about the particular model, which you are using. And then load an image. So here, the image is equal to CV2, CVT dot. You know, the image, you can load it using this. And you, if you want, you can resize it. And then uh, transpose the image to network, you know, input shape. Whatever the shape you want to transpose into network as you need it. Then you can show the image. All right. Then interferencing the model referencing. Like a result is compiled model. Result index. And convert the uh, inference result to a class name. So finally, after the you getting the result, you're just going to uh, inference into the class name. And then you're just going to uh, class name result index. So here, the output of the interference engine. Inference engine, okay? Then checking the time. So how long it will take to inference the uh, engine? So that you can calculate using this. You know, num image thousand and per you know, uh, perfect counter 
and range and end time is equal to perfect counter time I your start end. So using this, you can just have the time, how much time it taken for the inference. So CPU time C, run time uh, 0 0.26 seconds per image. So here the image, uh, you know, it has been given. All right. The next one is hands on open, we know. So the same thing what we have seen now, but it will be using a PyTouch, Py okay? So using PyTouch, so see, for PyTouch, we have to go FastTag Mobile V3 Small, okay? So FastTag Small, FastTag, uh, you know, Mobile V3 Small. So this is the model name, okay? And you should do, go there. And then, <clears throat> so how to do this first step? Importing library as always. Setting the file path. Okay. Then downloading the model predefined models. Okay. So here setting the path of the downloaded model. Okay. So here the model path is equal to parent exist okay equal to true. And then uh, this is a Jupyter file only we will send you. Okay. Then convert PyTorch model to ONX. Okay. And then and this is the initializing the optimizer and checking the IR file and then you know finally checking the ONS path is initial path is created or not and then uh, normalizing the input image we can you know uh, size and everything we can give and then image stored in the data folder see here the file name we can give the image name and then uh, file input image like normalized image we have done right that one we have to transposing it to a uh, as much we needed okay the size we can change using the transpose depends on the network and then uh, we are creating the you know uh, inference engine that is ie and then interferencing model in ons okay so any application we have to do right so using ONX model, we are just interferencing the more, uh, you know, model. Okay. Then finally, the open we know interferences in open we know model, we can just uh, done this. Okay. So I'll show you it in the, uh, you know, Python. Okay. So that you will be able to understand even better. Okay, so see here the first one we have seen, right? You can see the screen, right, dears? Yes, I couldn't hear you people. You can see the right, you can see the screen, right? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma so, first one, as I told you, we have to import the files first. So, import the path, cv2, metaplot, numpy, python display import, markdown, you know, open window runtime, import code. Do, so, these are all the things we have to import, okay? And then we have to setting, like path we have to give. So, model path is equal to path v3 small. This is what we have taken, right? And then ir path is equal to xml, right? So, this is the xml file right so this ir path and model path both we have to define over here and then next we have to initialize the model so inputs we have given 
and model we have to give we gave so first input what imported and we gave the uh, inputs as a model paths okay and then we have to initialize the model optimization right so here we are initializing the model optimization with the image attributes these are the, the details of that image we have given right and then print model optimization command to convert tensor flow open menu and display markdown f mo command okay so this we are going to uh, you know started the optimizer then next one is check the ir model file so we have to check the file when we doing an optimizer we have to check the ir model correct so whether it is created or not so if not ir path exists print exporting tensor model to ir this may take few minutes that is i mo command again it will go this mo command okay which means optimization will happen again else print f ir model ir path already exist okay so this will print like this all right so either one so we are checking whether the model is created or not if not created again it will take few minutes and it will be done then what we have to do we have to do the model referencing right ir file xml and bin file that we have to create that is called as model referencing so ie that is interface engine right so for model ir model path weight path suffix bin so bin file we are creating here only xml file we already created so bin file we are giving over here then compiled model we are going to take and then get the model information if you want to get the information about the model you just need to try this okay and now we are going to load the image okay so here image and resize image, input image, and we going to show the image. And then finally, we are going to do inference. Okay, result is equal to compiled model. Inference means you are going to create a class, right? So in compiled model and result index, we are creating inside the result. And then Im image net classes util magnet this image net only we have used right so read and split the lines and then we are just adding the background okay and then we are just creating an image net classes of what result index for this result index we are creating as a class clear then timing i told you how long it has been taken for inferencing that time we can calculate using this code okay the image when you inferencing how long it has been taken that you can calculate using this code okay and then your exercise what are the various object mobile net can detect like you know various object like images you know videos all these it can detect right and all the images shown in the image net file examples of these are all the examples you know this is like in tech tina goldfish though so many uh images are there in that file and then your second question is what section indicates the initiation of model optimization right so i told you this is the initial uh, initiating of model optimization so this is the section which is initiating the model optimization right and then your last question instead of coco image identify different object example car any image you can use it so here we can see car image we can use instead of coco okay clear so how many steps are there basically we need to import it and you have to give the path names and then you have to in initialize it then you have to inter uh, inference you have to do and you have to after output you have to do the uh, you know uh, what is it called optimizer after optimizer you have to uh, detect the ir file then you have to load the model again image and then inferencing when you doing the inferencing you can detect the timing correct 
yes clear here inferencing only we can say that like changing a background and you know class names and everything right clear dear yes ma'am yes We'll be sending this Jupyter notebook. Don't worry. Okay. Okay. So here, this next one. You know, PyTorch only we are going to see now. So this is checking a time and the same steps. Okay. So you can see that. Whatever we have seen the Jupyter network just now, the same things only here also, but the model engine only is different. Okay. So see, I'll just show you from the beginning, the spite arch alone. So first you have to, uh, you know, see, first importing libraries. Okay. So, we have more libraries in this and then settings, settings like saving the dictionary, uh, you know, directory and then paths you have to give, right? So see path you, you have to give here model path, you know, suffix pth, ons, xml. So all these three you have to give, right? And then next, what is next? This is called defining a framework model, right? You have to give the paths. Then setting the file paths, like uh, downloading the uh, fast track model from pre-trained model, setting the path for the downloaded model, right? So the model, if you download it, where you save that path, you have to add it over here, right? So see here, the path, model path dot parent, you know, MK directory exits okay if it is true. Okay, then next one is, and it will, when you just give this, it will, uh, you no need to upload anything. It will already there. So you just need to download the XML file, bin file and image. And you have to save it in the Jupyter file where you're going to save. The, in the same folder, you have to save before running. Okay, so if you give this, uh, you know, uh, Python coding alone, if you run it, it will automatically uh, do the downloading and everything. Okay. Clear? Clear, dear. So, see here, when you give this, you know, download fast track model, it has been downloaded before. So, model mobile A3 from Passion. So, it will download automatically. Okay. So, model paths, parent dots, it will save the model again and it will be like, uh, you know, torch dot save and model print, it will save model path so the model path has been saved so see here the downloading when you first uh, this line if you model one is equal to if you run this line it's downloading correct and loading a pre-trained model see and loaded pytorch fast time model then model has been saved so you don't need to download the uh, already given the Jupyter notebook whatever the coding to do downloading and everything okay you just need to run it clear but before running you should have all the packages and files clearly in your folder that's it okay so define the model with framework setting the file paths and all this coding is available in your Jupyter network okay then checking the IR files then normalizing the input image and then, uh, you know, see final output, how it has came. And then initializing the ref, uh, interference, inference uh, engine <coughs> that is changing the class, right? And then ONX, okay? So inferencing the model in ONX. Using ONX also, you can inference the model. So this street.jpg. And then initializing inference engine in open, we know IR model again. So, inferencing the model in open, we know IR model again, like using the result mask IR. 
and then inferencing the PyTorch model. So they use so many models over here, right? So these are all the checking the time and all. Okay. The next one is paddle. Okay. So using paddle also we can do this. So here the paddle paddle in ONX. Okay. And this is like importing again. I'll show you in the Jupyter Network. This dog only. I hope you can see. I hope you can see my screen, no? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Yes, yes. Sorry. Thank you. So here, the parallel model of ONX and Open, we know. This notebook shows how to convert a mobile net V3 model from Padel Hub, pre-trained model of image net data set to Open, we know, IR. Okay. So from Padel Hub only, we are taking this mobile net V3 and we are training the data set. Okay of image net and to open we know IR. Okay. And it also shows the classification inferences on same image using open we know runtime and compress the result of the paddle paddle mod with the IR model. Okay. So we are inferencing with open we know runtime. Okay. Got it. So first one the step wise first the same steps only again. We have to uh, define the framework and model and initialize the optimization and model inferencing. These are all the three steps only. So first defining a framework, pre-trained model, we are taking a, any one of this, like what we are taking it now, paddle, paddle, right? So the next one is uh, importing the things like first pip install paddle class, no deeps, pip install prettyable, you know, visual deals. So these two things we have to install first. Okay. And then import time. Okay. This things also we have to import over here. So the next one here, the URL image name, Coco and model name and model directory name. If model DR is exist, so this one, you know, model directory dot mk directory and model URL you have to give and then file target file and then uh, res, uh, you know, file extract call and then if not res model extractor to model directory else print error extracting the model, please check the network. Okay, so if you can't extract the model, it will show you the error. Okay, so image file name or model name, paddle paddle download from the paddle hub. Okay, so see again the model name and image file name. Okay, you have to download and keep it in your folder. Right, so the model name will also be the same name for the converted OX and IR models. So the notebooks tested in the mobile v3 model. So you can see this when you receive the Jupyter notebook. You have the links over here. You just need can download from here itself. Okay. Other models may be used different processing methods. There are require more modification. Okay. So hub.configure server is the URL to the paddle paddle server. You should not need to modify this settings. Okay. So this is the URL for the paddle server. Okay. The next one is. Uh, showing the inference again. So classify your image and you just going to do the inferencing over here. 
So we load the download model from the Paddle Hub and read the display and image to do the inference image. Okay, so whatever the image we downloaded, okay, the model we can just upload over here and do the inferencing. Okay, and this will take a while. And then classifier. So what is mean by classifier? Yes. Yes, dear. Here is there no. So classifier takes the image input and returns the class name of the image. Okay. So what it will do is like it will uh, results the you know top parameters it will take and it will results the return the k return and k result number. So how many top parameters it, uh, for example, five parameters it has been taken means in the all those five parameters, it will result the exact five number of best, okay, within those parameters, like height, weight, whatever the parameters, okay. So the pre-processing the image and converting the network result to a class name is done behind this, uh, you know, scene. So this will be doing the, converting a network results into a class names that we call it as classifier here okay so this and then the data feed we have to import we already imported so why we use this data feed means to normalizing the image okay to normalize the image only we use this data feed and resize and cropped all these only done to do the normalizing the image okay and then uh processing the image so here the normalization process is happens over here the pre-process oops is equal to so define process image and you know all these images pre-processing image will be happen using this uh, you know uh, coding and then converting the model of open we know into ir format okay so first how you will be doing the ir format So first you have to class, you have to create the class, right? So first contains information about the input shape and scale values we can use to convert the model. And Excel shows you how to get these values, okay? So first map file and one open file and lines uh, for lines in partition, we have to partition the lines in the images and then partition is equal to minus one and then converting a parallel model to ONX. So it will be converting into ONX. For that, you need to use XML. Okay. And this will be converting into ONX. So convert ONX model to again open, we know, IR format. You have to convert it again. So for that, again, you have to do this. So see, model, you have to initialize the model and then so interference again so load the open window so here the open window we have initializing over here and then so first onx2 open window we have to do for that these two blockings are needed and then finally we are just calculating the timings and speed of open window speed of mc interference speed of paddle model interference speed of open window ir model so both we can calculate using this Okay, so which shall source predefined model in this pre trained model in this notebook? So, see, this is the pre trained model which we used over here in this notebooks. Okay, and which is the section converting paddle to ONX format? So, here I have shown you right the red color. So, model XML we have to use to converting the paddle to ONX. So, paddle to ONX they converted again, ONX to open we know they converted right. Then, finally influencing the paddle and influencing the uh, open window both timing they can able to con calculate ma'am is there going to be any project yes dear it's going to be a, uh, it's going to be there a project that we're going to assign after this today session but tomorrow you will be having a, a open uh, you know statistical data okay again using this 
and uh, we today i'll at the end of the session i'm going to upload what you have to do for this project and before that you start doing like uh what project uh, details and all we'll let you know later but before that you have to start thinking like what would be the problem and what could be the solution like hardware anyways you're going to use cv or any of the project right but in that you whether you're going to use a hardware and show it or only you're going to run it show it in the uh of online so that you can decide but if you using a hardware it will be more efficient okay when you running it see this kind of a programs and all you when you run it if you using hardware it will be helpful so this project we will be giving you another time like we'll explain to you later so let me complete this today okay the project we are when we're going to assign it we'll give you all the uh, you know uh, explanation about the projects okay next <clears throat> So this is how it will work. Key initializing model optimization and <clears throat> checking IR files. Okay, if it is there or not. And if it is initializing the reference engine. So, and then checking the reference properties parallel model. And then we can just checking the reference properties and everything. Okay, and mobile net mode. So what are all the applications are there in your open menu toolkit in friends engines? Okay, so there are so many video decode image process in friends engine image process video decode. Okay, so first we have to decode it and image process it in friends engine. So these things only we will be going to do. So what the image inference in friends engine is doing is is going to decode image process okay so decoding and processing the image so that is going to happen in this inference engine okay that we going to use it as transfer flow cafe or mxnet whatever all right so the next one is a tensor flow it's already we have seen that and uh, onx this also we have seen that onx right how to convert it and then we loaded the image again. So the next one is walkthrough. I'll open the next PPT. So optimization is over. Don't worry, we will send the Jupyter notebooks. Yeah. Okay. so first one is uh, recall the modeling stage of project like modeling and in this model we're going to discuss various aspects of modeling using open menu okay so what is pre-trained models what is mean by pre-trained models media there will be lots of data cleansed and uh, you know trained it right so we can train out our model in any framework we, we want the result will be a pre-trained model right so we just doing a testing right we are not training it correct yes so we just doing a train uh, testing what all the training models are there we just doing a testing right so choose from catalog available pre-trained models and use it in a a solutions right so we are selecting any model and we just trying it right that is what we're doing. So, uh, transfer learning training AA model. So, what they are doing is they already trained it. It's a cat, right? So, pre-trained model, they already trained it as a cat. So, what we do basically do in AA model, we'll upload an image and we'll send the image into different layers. And finally, we are going to predict it what image it is. Correct? So, but here they already trained it, it as a cat, okay? So, what we just going to do is, we are just uploading it and learning transfer to another model. 
so train models are different a application so we just need to upload update that uh, image and using cv and it will say that it's a cat easily right yes we are just need to test it that's it we are not going to train it with more uh, data okay so here the pre-trained models in open toolkit is uh, deep learning uh, models like model zoo already i have given you i have shown you that uh, link i have given already to you people right so whatever the model zoo uh, from pre-trained models are there right so provide set of public pre-trained models with different framework that can be used for learning demo purposes right and then this we already saw Mm, this different framework which pre-trained models you already know so you can go for you know that link i have shared you right you can go to the link and see what are all the different things are there i mean different uh, projects pytorch and cafe all this trans tensor so all this you can try okay and claims of the different train models is tensor flow and you know see pre-trained model person vehicle bike reduction cross road so this is what i told you when you're doing a project if you're running in the system and giving an image and you can calculate is different but if you use a hardware it is different so try to use it through hardware when you're designing a project like this okay the objective of the application is to build an AI system real-time traffic monitoring the system could be further extended to control traffic lights okay so you can just work on it like this okay so it's still they have done the monitoring only so you can take a control it okay the next one is uh, pre-trained model emotion uh, recognition so it's commonly used to detect the face okay social media apps and all so this model is the extension or to face detection which recognize the emotion in real time okay so whether it's neutral or sad or happy so it can see the emotions of this and then pre-trained or text detection, if any image you are just uploading, whatever the text inside the image, it can be detected in videos also. In the images also, the text, it can be easily recognized. Okay. So next one is introduction to open model zoo. You already know open model zoo link I have given. So here the pre-trained models are stored in this open zoo. Uh, open model zoo this respiratory includes optimized deep learning model so it also can help in accelerating development of high performance deep learning references inferences applications okay so here the open view uh, overview of open we know train models so object detection recognition re-identification of models segmentation models instant segmentation models human pose estimation image processing text detection text recognition, accent recognition, compressed models. So these are all the models which is already there in your open uh, model zoo, okay? So this has been categorized into different categories, instance, you know, text, object. So these are all the categories which is already there in model zoo, okay? And let's see some example overview object detection what it will be uh, comes under object detection face detection person detection vehicle detection no all this will be comes under the object detection and uh, you know uh, also the object recognition is comes under what are all the things comes under it emotion license plate recognition age gender recognition all this will be comes under the object uh, recognition model and human pose estimation model is like pose estimation and human pose estimation see 0157 these are all that like skeleton pose yoga poses so all these will be coming under the human post estimation okay where in image or you know video when you're doing yoga exercise so it will detect your human pose and estimate it right then text deduction, you know, uh, horizontal, vertical, whatever the text in image or videos, it will be detecting the text. And categories of Intel pre-trained models and public pre-trained models. So we have seen in that, uh, you know, PPT also, right? It's uh, showing Intel and public, right? So here, 
uh, in this pre it include optimized model ready process directly by the model optimization unlike the public said these models cannot be retrained okay so is this public model it cannot be retrained okay so but in this uh, intel model it optimized the model ready to be processed directly by the model optimization okay clear so that is the difference between the intel and public so public said these models cannot be retrained but intel it can be so i'll send you this also to you link it's going to laugh right okay the previous one also it's going to all yeah right so next one is using open model zoo so here train model is there we can just run this model optimization and here we can do i mean uh do that and then using any uh application and inference engine we can just uh you know uh convert it okay and see the output so first one is configure model optimization for specific framework and train your model already trained it already so you can run the model trained model in the optimizer and uh, optimized intermediate representation will get the output as ir and then integrate uh, you know test the model ir format using the inference engine that is ie okay using ie we are just going to test the model and then finally integrate inference engine in your application to deploy the model then finally, we are just doing an inferencing. Okay. Right. That's. It. So, these are all the steps whenever we do the, uh, you know, model training model, whenever you use it, whenever we deploy it, these are all the steps we followed till now in the Jupyter Notebook also. Right. And then recall the workflow steps. This you already know. And then intermediate representation, IR files, XML, and bin file. And then uh, pre-trained model need to access the IR file generated by the module optimizer. And then we need to download the IR files of a model uh, that is XML and bin. Then both the files will be used to run the inference. Okay. So after the output, that output XML bin file you have to download. Then only we are just running those output in the inference right that or that's you know jupyter network xml we have given in the inference bin file also we given right so this is like uh, open we know pre-trained model and in this phase deduction so we are going to methods downloading pre-trained model direct method you can download using model downloader otherwise indirect method manually download ir files okay so, downloading the pre-trained models, copy-paste the entire block of the code as it is. So, replace the model name alone. Whatever the model you want to uh, download, you can just download it. In this case, we have downloading phase deduction model file path where IR file pre-trained model will be downloaded, successfully downloading the model. So, this is what we used basically pre-trained model. This is how we downloaded in the Jupyter network also, right? Jupyter book also correct we didn't download anything outside right and then indirect method is like uh, we have to go to this link and we have to download this xml file and bin file then we have to save it in the as i told you right you can just open the folder and you can save it all those two files right so you can download this folder name model 34 and create a folder called models in that model folder you have to create the face detection arrows 001 in that folder you have to create fp16 fp34 and then you have to save those two files in it 
So instead of that, you can go to direct method. Okay. So here, uh, load the model first. So open video face detection device. So instead of face detection adults, you can replace it with pre-divine model that come with open window. Okay. So whatever the open window model it comes to you, you can just use it. Okay. And respect to model into the local directory. So this code will be loads you whatever the, you know, uh, model you are just initializing over here. Okay. And your directory should be ensure your directory structure looks similar. See, you tilts face detection, ADOS, XML, bin, F316, F332, you know, face detection. This is how it has to be. Okay. And this is for the indirect method, I'm telling. So here you can load the images and, you know, uh, predict it and inferences you can do. And then classify using the same model and classify another image, you know, different images. Output of the image and video inferencing, you can use the video also to do this. And walk through use case. <coughs> Emotion recognition. Emotion recognition is the process of, you know, uh, emotions. Uh, and that also you can use using the Jupyter same way. Download the pre-trained models, bill, bin and that, bin file and the, you know, XML file. And same way you're going to save it and same load the model and load the images and, uh, you know, load an image that is restored in the variable prediction. And then you're just inferencing it and classifying an image with another image, like different image, okay? So any image you can classify with the same model and you can inference it, okay? So model optimizer is a tool that converts the trained models from standard framework into uninfied IR files. True or false? Train model from standard framework into un unified IR models. Yes or not? Yes, right? It's going to change as a unified IR models only, right? Okay, what floating point data format does model optimization support? FP16 and FP32. Exactly. Okay, so open window toolkit includes an open model zoo with pre-trained model samples and demos. True or false? Yes, we have samples and demos, okay. And assignment for you is like vehicle detection, okay. So that also will just up update to you, okay. Clear? And so module 20, 34 also completed. So tomorrow I'll start with module 35 and uh, 36 will try to complete. Okay. Clear dear? That the project how you have to do that I'll explain tomorrow. Then I'll start the statistical data module. Okay. Clear? already time five minutes only so any doubts in this like shall i explain that otherwise the project how you're going to do i'll show you a small part like how it's going to be okay then i'll explain it again tomorrow also no issues so see here this is how you have to do Yeah. I think you can see the screen right here. So creating a problem statement first and acquiring data and exploring data and then modeling and evaluation and project representation. This is how you have to do. Okay. Then. And so think about the problem you see. You remember now last project how you have done. This is the three steps. Like these are all the six steps you have done. Right. Right, exploring data alone, we have done this. So modeling evaluation, this time we're going to do. Okay, so first, uh, you know, think about your problem and what are all the problems the IS social Im impact comes from. That you have to write it about it. So first understand the problem based on this. Okay, and then choose any one of the SDGs, uh, you know, out of 17 SDGs. 
okay and another way of coming with a problem statement okay list down your problem you think you can be addressed from the stgs okay and then sdj have a spe you know speech targets right so whatever the specific targets if you have just go through with this okay i'll will be uploading this okay don't worry so do you think any of the problem that you observe every day so finally you are just deciding what is your what is the, what problem you are going to work on then list down all the problem you witnessed okay which is connected to particular sdg any theme you should select and that theme basically you go in reverse like th select the theme and see what are all the problems okay any of the theme based on that any problem you can take and give the solution so uh, based on the theme what are all the problems and if you write down the problems what are all the aa we can solve okay using aa how we can solve those problem also you can list out so the solution you can give about the solution what are all the research you can make that links you can give and author's names and now formulate the you know template for chosen problem for whom you are going to choose this problem and you know it has a problem that need you know why when ideal solution all this you have to finding it and then you choose one problem finally and then converting into a project like using computer vision or what using what you're going to give the solution okay and then acquiring data and then exploring data and then modeling okay so then you can just see face detection any model you can use it right and then finally you're just going to download this face detection or you know we are downloading face detection and fill path ir pre-trained model and successfully downloading the model and then finally you can just uh, you know in case we are downloading face detection model load the input referencing take the prediction and do this okay and evolution and then perform the evaluation compare activity performing out this activities also will be sending you okay we will be updating in your lms okay don't worry so different models you can just try to compare it and visualize the output at different confidence levels so use this model with the best results so I can see so many chats, right? Let me see it. The first synopsis. Yes, similar to the first synopsis only right here. Okay. So we'll update to your activity and Jupyter notebook, then the templates. Okay, how are you going to do this project? Whatever I have shown right now. Okay, these things will update to you. Okay. Within this week, we'll try to update. Okay. Yes. So I hope you're clear, right? How to run this. Uh, we didn't even announce when you have to start like we just announcing it just now just start thinking about it submission and all we'll see later okay first find out you figure out your problem and figure out whether you're going to add the hardware or not you're just going to work on and show it in the online okay in system okay coding alone you're just going to do or you're just going to connect the hardware or not just think on about it explore more research more okay i give some links right just research more okay yes okay yes thank you if you <clears throat> if you have any doubts you can stay otherwise you can leave yes <clears throat> Thank you.